Uh, so <laughs> we've got uh, Igor, of course, you've been very, very busy. Maybe you could give us an update on uh, how, well, since the last time we spoke, I think it was home opener, uh, how have things been going for you for the last couple of weeks? Oh, you know, I got, I got picked in an NHL draft. It was pretty exciting. That's a pretty big thing, yeah. Yeah, you know, it was pretty exciting, obviously. And um, right now I just, you know, talked to Ottawa and they told me to keep doing, keep doing what I'm doing right now, keep training. And, um, you know, they set the date for AHL start on February 6th, so I hopefully I can get over in Ottawa and, you know, start a training camp as soon as possible. And I guess, so, I mean, realistically, what do the next few months look like for you? Uh, you know, right now, just everything on the hold still. They didn't set the date for uh, NHL training camp. So hopefully they will set the date sooner or later, and, uh, you know, we will go from there. But right now I'm just trying to stay in the best shape as possible and be prepared, prepare myself to play pro. Which is a big adjustment. Of course, uh, the speed of the game changes. A lot of things change. How has Ottawa sort of assisted you in your, uh, you know, in your training that you're doing here in, in, and in Halifax as well? Have you been in contact with them, and have they been you know, providing good feedback? Yes, I've basically been talking to them every day, and, uh, you know, they just told me that I'm a big guy and uh, i got to keep working on my feet, you know, do stretch and, uh, you know, loosen up my hips and uh, basically pretty much it. But I talk to a development coach every day, and he sends me some stuff, you know, videos of uh, best big guys in the league, how they play, how they use their size, and uh, how, they, how good they are around the net and what they want me to do basically in NHL. So, you know talk to them every day it's pretty pretty interesting and uh, see what they want me to do and you know i'm just trying to learn and uh, keep getting better every day now of course there's uh, some familiar faces for you in the uh, ottawa organization uh i know you've been in contact with drake but i hear you guys have been skating together as well yeah you, you know it's pretty exciting and crazy at the same time uh, drake was my billet brother in my first year and uh you know he had a feeling that i'm gonna get picked by Ottawa and uh, he told me that before the draft and he was super excited and I'm happy that we're back together and uh, you know we've been on the ice basically for past four months together in Halifax and uh, have an opportunity to play this game again it's uh, great and I'm looking forward to it. I, I often tell that story actually when you first came to the league uh, you and Drake were together a lot he helped you in your transition uh, into the community uh, how exciting is it you know for you to potentially to have a, a, a pro connection, uh, you know, again, going to be playing together again, hopefully in the near future. You know, it's, I think it's awesome. I think, you know, like it's something I was looking forward to because, you know, he was the guy who helped me around and, you know, I wanted to have that opportunity to play with him again, again because he was here only for half a year my first year. So I think it's pretty exciting. We're both uh, really looking forward to it, working hard, you know, trying to compete in Halifax, trying to get better, and uh, hopefully we play together. I guess, and I suppose, you know, since the draft, is training different for you now? Like, I know you were, you were training hard prior to the draft, but is it, you know, how, how different is it now post-draft, now that Ottawa's involved, how much different is, is your training regimen right now? Uh, you know, it's pretty much the same, you know, nothing really changed, you know, lifting weights, trying to get faster, stronger, and bigger, and, uh, you know, just basically, you know, I just taking care of my body more and more because, it, you know, it's been a long off-season training for me over eight months already so you know just trying to not crush and uh, you know try to stay in best shape as possible be in touch with Ottawa and you know working with my strength coach in Halifax and you know just keep preparing and be ready whenever the time comes well you know uh, a lot of us here around the rink in this organization and, and with this team know how hard of a worker you are so I don't think it's going to be very long at all before we see you wearing that senator's jersey Igor as always thank you so much for spending some time with us today thank you very much Igor Sokolov, everybody.